In today's video, man, I was setting up the French connection, man. I hope this is talking about my Manchester United boys, Pogba and Anthony Martial, man, my favorite soccer players. But let's go, man. Hey, if you're if you're a soccer fan, I know a lot of people from the UK. Let's be honest, man. Man United is probably winning the Premier League this year. What are your thoughts, man? Arsenal is definitely gonna choke it, man. United is gonna win. Let me know what you guys think down below. All right, so this script, man, you guys are gonna simply download it. Once you download it, it'll be see where my mouse is. It'll be over here. You're gonna click that. Then click downloads and drag it into the compiler. Okay. Once you do that, you're gonna head over to programmer, click GBC scripts, click and drag this right over here to a new slot, empty slot, boom, and then program it. Okay. Now everything else is done with the controller. I got the Zen camera set up. We're gonna set it up, guys. Very simple. This script is insane, man. Make sure you guys try it out, man. Make sure you also subscribe if you haven't already. All right, guys. So we're gonna set up this French connection script. We got a new setup and slowly but surely we will make it very HD and very clear for everyone to see. Now, let me just real quick. I got to fix so. Okay, so when you set up the script, man, it'll look like this French connection primary with a blue light. Now, you're going to enter the script with L2 and options. And I'm slowly for the future tutorials, I will have my controller in the video so that you guys can see my control and how my fingers work when I'm adjusting everything. All right. But this script, man, the reason why it's so good, man, it's very smooth. It's very simple to set up. And there's like instructions while you're pretty much setting up the script. Now, to go to all the menus, you press that down D-pad, okay? Down D-pad or up D-pad. The first thing you're going to head over is controller. Click X or A. And the arrows over here are a little bit blurred out. But if you see those white boxes next to ADS button and L2, it shows you how to go through the menu. So we're right now adjusting our controller layout. If you play default, do not adjust anything if you play anything other than default you need to adjust everything to what your like button layout is so let's say you play default flipped that means your ads button should be l1 okay to switch your ads button we're right now on ads button so you want to press the up or down d-pad okay until you find l1 once you change your ads button you're going to press the right d-pad you're now you're on fire button. You want to make the fire button R1. So press the up D pad or down D pad, however, whichever way you want to go until you find R1. And you want to make sure everything is matched. You want to press the right D pad, the tactical button, which should be like your heartbeat sensor or your um like flashbangs. Then you press right D pad, the lethal button is like your grenades. And you want to just make sure everything is perfect. Okay, so your you know melee button, it should be, I think if you're on tactical, it should be circle. So you press the up or down D pad. Make sure everything is perfect, okay? That's your job. I, ca I can't really do that for you, all right? Now, I'm going to make mine back to normal. So, ADS button L2. Fire button R2. Everything's back to normal. All right. And just one more time, man. You press the right D-pad to go through all the options. And up or down D-pad to change the, uh, the button, all right? Now, when you press the left D-pad, you guys can see hair triggers or block rumble. If you don't want to feel vibration, up D-pad to turn on block rumble. If you want to have hair triggers, you press up D pad to turn on hair triggers. All right, once you are happy with your controller setup, you press circle. Then the next thing we're going to head over to is mod menu. Now, it's so simple to set up the mods in this script, man. Shout out to the guy who made it, man, Newsbar. Such a good script. You're going to press the right D pad, guys, and you'll go through all the mods in this script. And the first thing we're going to set up is aim assist. Okay. Now, I will post my aim assist values in the next video. This script is insane for aim assist. You guys need to try it out. I like the tall oval, the wide oval, and the helix. So I'll post my aim assist values there. But what you guys are going to do is when you head over to aim assist, you press the up D-pad to go through all the options. Sticky, circular, tall oval. Then you click X or A if you're on Xbox. And then you can adjust these values. Now, when you click X to enter the options, you press the right D-pad. You can see radius and steps. Okay. All right, now to adjust these values, not like every other script, you actually have to hold X or A, and then you want to use a left or right D-pad to go up and down by one, okay? Up or down D-pad to go up and down by 10. You have to be making sure you're holding X or A the whole time, okay? And you guys can see, look, I'm gonna let go of X right now. You see that little like black square over there where it shows that I'm holding it? That's why the script is so good, man. You don't even need to listen to my video. You guys can look at the instructions that are right in front of you. So radius, if you wanna, Go to the next setting, you press the right D-pad, and you see it even shows when you press it. 
All right, that's why he made the script so good. All right, so the values will be in the next video, so make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that. The next thing we're going to set up, guys, right D-pad. We can set up rapid fire right now, just for the people who want to set up rapid fire. I know so many people like using rapid fire. Now, to turn on rapid fire, you press the up D-pad, and I like using rounds per second. You will then click X to enter this menu and hold X and make the rate of fire around 8 or 9. You can even do 10. Okay. Now you need to make sure you're setting it up for the right profile and we'll get into how to adjust profiles in just one second when we head over to enter equal. All right. I'm going to turn it off right now, but make sure you guys know which profile you're turning on rapid fire for so you don't get confused. Now left D pad is anti recoil. Okay. Now anti recoil on this script, let me just make this clear. There's three profiles. Okay. So primary, when you press triangle, see secondary and you'll see custom when you press triangle again. For anti-recoil for my primary, I like to either use progressive or standard. Okay. Standard is little literally basic legacy anti-recoil. Alright, so depending on the weapon I'm using, I adjust the value, hold X, you know, put in the value. If you want to try out the spreadsheet, it will be down below in the description. It will be ready tonight. Uh if you want to use progressive, this is for advanced weapons. Alright. I'll make a tutorial in the future on how to set this up. Same thing, hold X, adjust the value, okay. It'll be a little bit too long for me to explain how to set up anti recoil in this today in today's tutorial, but that will be another video in the future. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss that video. All right, um, and that's pretty much it, man. I don't like using on rumble. I just don't like it. I just I've never used it to be honest. So I like using what works, and that's it. Now there are other mods as well: burst fire, um, aim abuse. I don't like using shot mods. You guys can try these out. I don't like using them that much. Um, strafe shot. I tried testing on strafe shot. It didn't really work. It didn't work that well. So I got. I'll. I'll see. I'll see how it works, and then I'll make another video on that as well. Um, shot activator. Leave it on ADS and fire. Hold breath. Simple. Man. If you want to turn it on, up D pad. Turbo melee. If you want to turn it on, up D. It's very simple, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't turn on auto ADS. Don't turn on auto fire. Keep sensitivity off. Don't turn on auto run. If you want to use bunny hop, you can turn it on. And these are just simple stuff, and don't use slack cancel man. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to set up the profile. It's very important. Now, as you can see, we have our aim assist set up for primary, but when you press triangle, it will not be set up for secondary. Alright, so make sure that you set it up for secondary by simply pressing the up D-pad and setting up the same aim assist for your secondary. Press triangle again and set it up for your custom. Now your custom profile will be your ground loop profile. Alright, so we have our aim assist set up. For all three profiles, as you can see, and it's triangle slash Y to go through your different profiles. All right. You're going to now press circle and head over down to profiles. Now, when you're on profiles, guys, it's very, it's very simple. Okay. It's very simple. Don't, don't make it confusing. Okay. Primary slash secondary button. You always want to make a triangle. Now to adjust the button, you want to press the right D pad, make a triangle. Okay. And if you're ever confused, look at the screen of your corona zen it shows you so right next to triangle it shows the right d-pad and then the left is left d-pad that's how you adjust that value if you want to go to um the next part like let's say you know what i'm saying we're going to set up the ground loot or the custom profile you press triangle so look i'm press triangle now i'm on my custom profile okay now what we're going to set up right now is how to set up the custom profile so like using either l2 and d-pad down or l2 d-pad up so let's actually use l2 d-pad down for resync button and i'll explain the resync button right after this because now the tutorial is pretty much finished so if you guys remembered first button to set up is with the right or left d-pad press the right d-pad second button is with the down or up d-pad so we'll press the up d-pad and we'll make it l2 and d-pad down okay you want to make the resync button L2 and D-pad down, and you want to make your custom profile any button other than L2 at the first. All right, so let me actually make it L1 and D-pad right, okay? I made a mistake, and I'm going to show you right now. So now we're going to press circle and L2 and option to save it. Now, right now we're on custom, okay? If I press L2 and D-pad down, which is our resync, our resync goes through primary, secondary, and custom. I'm not pressing triangle right now. I'm pressing L2 and down D-pad. Now, if you want to go, let's say we're playing right now. We have our loadout. When I press triangle, you can see primary, secondary. If I want to head over to my loadout, L1, D-pad right. Brings it, uh, sorry, if you want to bring it to my ground loot, L, L1, D-pad right makes this custom, okay? Now, let's say you want to exit custom. You do the same thing, okay? 
So what that means is L1 D-pad right to head over to custom. When I get my loadout, I press L1 D-pad right again. Now there's also some things I want to explain right now in the script. So when you hold L2 and you want to turn on rapid fire, okay? Let's say you want to make your custom profile have rapid fire. So you're going to head over into the script, mod menu, rapid fire on custom. You want to set up the rounds per second. So you want to make it eight rounds per second. And then you want to turn it and then you want to turn it off. Okay. And I'm going to show you why. So once you set up the value for the rapid fire and you can actually set up the rap the value of rapid fire for every single profile. When you're in game, you can hold L2 and double tap the D pad, right? And it'll turn on rapid fire rounds per second. So you hold L2 and double tap D-pad right. You have to double tap it three times and rapid fire is on. Now to turn rapid fire off, L2, D-pad right, hold that. You just hold it. Rapid fire will be turned off. Now there's also different values. If you want to set up different values for anti-recoil, you hold L2, double tap up D-pad. You can go through all the different anti-recoils. And then L2 and D-pad up to turn anti-recoil fully off. In case a value is not working. All right. Now... There's also a L2 and double tap left to turn on shot mods. And then L2 and hold left D pad to turn the shot mods off. This script is insane. I didn't even know that even existed. Just came out of nowhere. I just literally seen it. This script is insane. So many different things you can do. Make sure you guys try it out, man. Download it down below in the description. Thank you so much, guys. Amos' vows posted in a couple hours.